hello friends welcome back to laravel tutorial so in this series actually we are going to discuss about some quick tricks right so first tricks in this video we are going to uh, discuss about some array tricks like if i want to add some data into the array using the laravel helper how can I do this so here i am using laravel 9.52 right and here i just created a url that is do magic so actually we have a do magic function i don't have anything here so simply if i just run return one two three you will get the one two three from here okay so refresh you are getting okay now here to use the laravel array helper we have illuminate uh, support add so this is the array element support so we need to use that and simply suppose if i have an array suppose let's say an array and inside the array i just going to add something so simply write array and then add okay suppose uh, i have a name so simply write a uh, name and just add name equal to john okay so i already have that array and now i want to add some things so that uh, we need to add the index into here suppose i just going to add the index age and the value of that is 30 okay now if i just going to print that thing suppose i just going to uh, dd that thing so simply write array okay and now you will get the new value is added into the array so this is the age right great now if i just going to replace suppose uh, my array okay and simply my array is there things and now if i just write here you can write okay so this is actually the array and here just uh, mention my array so whatever we have array we can use and simply just i guess going to add h okay so these are working and if i change it will change okay now another way to add some data suppose i have a name and also i have a age okay and now uh, inside the array inside my array my age is actually null there is no value i want to add some data from this function okay so simply if i just write here in this way suppose age is 50 and now it will replace this existing array okay so simply refresh it is changing okay so we can add any things from the array or we can replace any array value okay so by using the key using the array add method so cool things so i think it will help you if it helps please like this video and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video bye